Hi, and welcome to another video update from the Fire Brigade Union. Once again, the unique circumstances caused by the COVID-19 lockdown. This time we're joined by two groups of people. First of all, General Secretary Matt Rack, and also the Black Watch from Cambridge Fire Station, who've got some questions for the General Secretary. So over to you, Rick. Um, hello, Matt. Hi, um, Rick. Yeah, my question is um, regarding additional duties and additional work that we um, are taking on as firefighters, uh, which is good and important. Um, but in real terms, we're around sort of £4,000 pay cut. Um, so what will happen in the future with regards to this, please? Yeah, absolutely crucial points there. I suppose the, the first question for us is, is about, and I, I think we need feedback from yourselves as well, is that uh, we had a debate about the additional roles. We, we, we were aware that some people are rightly very, no, lots of people are rightly very angry about how we've been treated over the past decade and our pay has fallen. Uh, and, uh, you know, suddenly this crisis comes along. But at the same time, lots of people wanted to do what they could to help our communities in the midst of the COVID-19 crisis. So we had a difficult balancing act to, to play there. And we decided to engage with this tripartite discussion. So that's with the fire service employers and the National Fire Chiefs Council. Uh, and I think the strength of that is it's give us a good, given us a good basis for a trade union agreement. So I think people who want to volunteer to do those activities can be confident that there's a good framework behind it. It addresses safety, training, PPE and so on. All things that are actually now hitting the media because of the weaknesses on PPE, for example, in the health service. And we, we put that in place. But we have never forgotten, and we've made this point in those discussions, that actually we've had a pay freeze for effectively for a decade, as the rest of the public sector have. Um, interesting, we've got a, a meeting with the NJC Joint Secretaries next week, and we will be asking them uh, what their thoughts are in terms of pay. I was at a TUC meeting, or virtual meeting, earlier this week, where again, I asked the same point as to what's happening in, on pay in other parts of the public sector. Uh, what's the response of uh, employers? Um, we, we're hearing a lot of praise from government, including from the Prime Minister and others, about what the health service, what other public sector workers, including ourselves, are doing in this crisis. And it'll be absolutely disgraceful if at the end of that, they turn around and say, well, you're all back on for another 1% uh, or 2% pay rise. Uh, we don't know the outcome of that yet, but clearly I, I expect the expectations of public sector workers, including firefighters, will be that something needs to be done about this now. Yeah, sure. So do you think that will benefit our pay going forward, our pay dispute? Well, that's the big question, isn't it? That we're all getting praised by the government and politicians and the media uh, currently because of the crisis. Uh, and you hope that that will mean a change of direction. I have to say the cynical part of me says that actually once it's over, they'll go back to, to praising us but not paying us. Uh, you know, there's talk about a medal for NHS workers and so on. I think people want PPE and pay and safety rather than medals. But we'll see. Uh, but we, we will have to, we have, we have to go after this and make our case to the country that actually the workers who've seen the country through this crisis are the very workers who are the most exploited in some cases, low paid shop workers, delivery workers and so on. And then those of us working in public services who've had our pensions attacked, our pay frozen and tens of thousands, of, indeed hundreds of thousands of jobs cut across the across the public services over the past decade. That's a big challenge that we, and we will not be letting it drop. We have to, I think we have to get ready for the, the end of this to start our political campaigning to ensure that there's investment in public services, including pay. Thank you.